Thank you, Rejuvenator. And thank you for Sneak Out. It's your boy Miguel Street. And y'all might have seen me on the channel before cleaning up sneakers, but today we got something totally different for y'all. We're actually gonna be traveling to New Jersey. We partnered up with Orange High School out there, and a bunch of their seniors are gonna be using Rejuvenator products, cleaning up a whole bunch of different sneakers, and then donating them. So I'm gonna take y'all with me. I'm gonna take y'all along the process. But first, we gotta pack this drip. May or may not have went to the wrong gate. Run. What's going on YouTube? This is Akil here. We finally made it to Newark. After a long and grueling red eye, don't have a layover on a red eye, it's the worst. But we're here at Orange High School. We're meeting up with Daryl Pope. And what we're doing is we're bringing the students into this to clean sneakers for the unfortunate, the homeless, those people who are less fortunate than ourselves. You can't give away no busted shoes, so we're about to go in there, check out the whole process, talk to a few of the students, and then document the whole thing. Let's do it. Once I give you your stuff, you have to go get your sneakers. Hand me your cups, please. I came up with the name Sneak Out because, of course, I sneak out the dirt. And I started thinking about when I was a teenager, how I used to walk the streets of Newark. I would go out with my friends and my socks would sneak out of my sneakers. Oh, wow. And I put it together. I said, well, maybe I can do something for the homeless. So that's when I started doing sneaker drives. And I was asking people to donate to me their slightly worn or good sneakers mm -hmm. that I could clean and give to the homeless and the people in need. So all of a sudden, hmm, I started thinking, why not see if I can incorporate the students to help me clean the sneakers? Because what I didn't know was they had to have community service hours before they graduated. I had a meeting with the principal, and when I got finished explaining this to them, they actually clapped at the end of the presentation. I was in tears. Wow. Uh, it's, all, it's all good, man. It's, 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 it's all good. It's all because good. it was something that something I dreamed man. about and thought about since last year. Man. I've been here 10 years, and this is the first year ever that I found my niche. Oh, I always say not too much and not too little. Oh yeah, I love sneakers. I mean, I'm not like a sneaker head because I met a lot of sneaker heads. I'm like, wow, you know a lot of sneakers. My favorite sneaker that I own actually is the Jordan 11 Cherries. When I clean my sneakers or haven't just clean sneakers, my fit looks better, everything looks good. It makes me feel better about myself because I'm not even doing it for myself. I'm doing it for the people who actually need it because some people might have a hole in their shoe right now and then tomorrow they're gonna have a brand new pair of Kyrie's or Jordan's on their feet. I actually feel proud. I don't really like see as a negative thing that I have to take time out of the day. I think it's important because like sometimes we don't notice how much we're lucky to have stuff. Like say if we start three o'clock in the afternoon, we're able to fill up a crate, maybe a crate and a half or two before two hours is up. Cause I got a good crew here. The process is this, if they're flat enough, I won't use a rubber band. But if they're not flat enough, I use a rubber band to hold them closer together. And I just roll it over, roll it over. Generally, I like to just make it look like a nice little package for somebody. Uh, and instead of just giving them the sneakers like this, I like to wrap it a little bit, give them something to look forward to. So since I saw that my nephew was using Rejuvenator, that's when I bought the executive kit. Plus I like the way they spelt their name, Rejuvenator. And I happened to reach out to the global sales rep, Akil Rodriguez. And not only did he lead me to the waters, he helped me out. He sent me two big boxes of sneakers, four gallons of the cleaning solution, and also two boxes of the three types of different brushes that we use. So he gave me a leg up. So there's no way nobody can come to me and tell me about any other cleaning products. I'm a rejuvenator man. I need y'all to meet me downstairs in the library at 10 o'clock. I've been talking to Daryl um, on and off for the past you know, two months to kind of get this thing set up. It's been real heartfelt. He's doing something very positive for the community here in Orange and rejuvenated to support what they're doing. It's been a true blessing. I say day one was a major success and I can't wait to donate these shoes and take it to the next step. Y'all will see it, let's do it. 
This is part two of our mission. Once again, my name is Daryl Pope. I'm the owner of Sneak Out. I'm not sure exactly how many sneakers there are, but I'm sure there's over at least 100 pair. We're getting ready to take them down to St. James Social Services to dispense them among the people that are waiting for us. Well, I'm getting a good workout. a beautiful, beautiful thing. To have a nice pair of sneakers, even as an adult, it's something. My name is Vesta Godwin-Clark, and I am the executive director of St. James Social Service Corporation. When he told me that he wanted to do this in conjunction with Orange High School, not only were they doing the cleaning, but then to come here and distribute. And distribute as well. This is what you call real community service. You need? This is 12. You want a 12 and a half? Let's yeah. be on the same side. Uh, we'll go. You got the classic. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just so happy that they they get to wear them. I just felt like what we did was honorable. We should take much more pride in this organization to bring it next year. I tell anybody that has any sneakers, stand together so we can continue this and give more and more and more and more. Thank you to the students of Orange High School for sure, you know, and of course, thank you to Mr. Pope who you know, has an amazing heart and is doing an outstanding job. I am just so overwhelmed. And on top of that, with the help I got from Rejuvenator with Akil Rodriguez and Miguel, who came from Arizona. Arizona! Arizona! To help us out. Overall, the collaboration with Sneak Out Orange High School and Rejuvenator has been outstanding. We were able to satisfy a lot of people. But guess what? Sneak Out is gonna be around because we sneak out the dirt. Everything's just aligned. The turnout was good. I mean, this, to me, this couldn't have went any better. It was a blessing to be a part of it, a blessing to document this, and hopefully we can make it back out here to do it again. See y'all.